Hey, what's up, guys? This, this is my new kid. 1022. Now, I have been wanting one of these for so long, you cannot know. And spoiler alert up front, it is a beast. <laughs> I bought this with my own money. So I did my research online and on YouTube, and I reached out to a buddy of mine, Don, that's got a channel, Rimfire SS, here on YouTube. And that dude is the 1022 dude. He has all kinds of tests on all of the different stuff you can put on a 1022, the ones that are already put together. And he was kind enough to let me know which one I should get. Now, here's the deal. I've been down that 1022 rabbit hole before. I think a lot of you guys will know exactly what I'm talking about. I started out with a regular 1022 with the little band on the front and the little ramp sights. I moved up to a bull barrel. Well, once I did, now that stock wouldn't fit. So I went and got another stock. I put it on there. Well, after playing with it a little bit, I wasn't really satisfied with the bull barrel. So I upgraded to a different barrel again. I just wasn't satisfied with it. I was going out with buddies of mine that were shooting bullshit ass bolt action rifles and this thing wouldn't shoot with it. So the next time I went on and popped for a premium barrel, I did the same thing with the trigger group. When I got ready to upgrade the trigger group, I went a little bit, just started kind of getting my toes in it. Then finally, I popped for a good one. And what I ended up doing was spending about $3,000, and I'm not bullshitting you. If you've been down this rabbit hole, you know what I'm talking about, to try to get a 1022 that would shoot with my bolt-action rifles. I just couldn't do it. I mean, it would not fucking happen until I got this thing. Now I'm gonna show you some groups this thing has shot over the last week or so, but I wanted to stop and tell you guys why I decided to buy this gun. <whistles> now the one I got has an 18 inch barrel on it. Hey daddy. I got the MDT chassis and the MDT grip on it. I also, long as I was there, I went on and got the MDT bipod, which by the way, I'm really digging it. It fits on here with an arc rail and I like the shit out of it. Now there's a lot of different trigger groups available from KID. The one that I chose was the eight ounce two stage. So you take it up just like a good AR trigger and it just stops. And when it breaks, it breaks on eight ounces. I measured it with a buddy of mine's trigger gauge and it is smooth. This thing is an absolute hammer in every single way. Now, like most douche YouTubers, I reached out to these guys. Now, like most douche YouTubers. Nope. <laughs> to see, you know, what kind of a deal I could get. Well, they offered me 10% off, but the best thing is they offered the guys that watch my channel 10% off also. You'll see all the information below. Now, I'm not gonna be able to put a link to these guys, but I'll have all the information. You Google the shit, I know damn well you can find it. But if you'll use the code that they gave me, it'll save you 10% whether you get a rifle or just decide to piece it out. A lot of guys already have a trigger group they like. They already have a chassis they like. They're looking for an extremely good barrel. This is it. Some guys have a barrel that they're in love with, but they hate the trigger group because it sucks. This son of a bitch is a badass. By the time it was all over and done with, this thing was a little over $2,000. But this is no bullshit. Start doing your research. Start looking around online and decide to build one yourself out of lesser crap, and it's still going to cost this damn much. Life's too short for ugly-ass guns, and life is way too damn short for a gun that won't shoot. I had a CZ-457 that didn't shoot. It's gone. I get a gun that won't shoot, that fucker is gone. This son of a bitch here is staying. Now the other stuff that I put on it, I've got my Arkin EP5. I also use the tier one mono block to put on it. It's solid as a rock and nothing's ever gonna move. Now you can use whatever rings you want, but with a gun like this, I wanted to put a good ass mount on it. I didn't wanna put some bullshit out of Amazon or eBay. I put a good one on it. I also got this particular buttstock with the spacers. Now I've been leaving all the spacers on it, but I'm thinking about maybe taking one or two off because I mainly shoot from the bench, but I'll figure that out as I go. But guys, if you're looking for a top 1022, you don't want to waste a bunch of your damn time building the shit or worrying about whether or not it's all going to come together because a lot of times you can take the best components out there, put it together, and it still shoots like a drunk stormtrooper. 
You get it from these guys, they shoot it, they make sure the damn thing will shoot. This son of a bitch is like a high-end hooker. It is worth every single penny. Check them links, watch for the videos I've got coming up with this thing, and look in the links below for my buddy Don's channel, Rimfire SS. You need to go on there and look at all of the different research that this guy's done on 1022s. And when you do, I think you'll be just like me. You'll decide this is the son of a bitch I need. What?